Cabinet on May 8th approved the amendments to the proposed National Drug Policy and Authority Act, creating a new body responsible for overseeing the quality of veterinary health inputs. This role was formerly under the National Drug Authority. The president of the Pharmaceutical Society of Uganda, Pamela Achi, says that over the last 30 years, the National Drug Authority has built its capacity in human and veterinary medicines regulation to become one of the top medicine regulatory agencies on the African continent. In Uganda, the failure rate where a product fails and we say it cannot be used is below 10%. There are other African countries with separate agencies for human and animal drugs still record very high failure rate for their veterinary medicines, ranging between 25% to 85%. The society argues that separating the regulatory authority for veterinary medicine would disrupt the One Health approach that addresses challenges cutting across both human and animal health. There are diseases that affect us humans, they also affect human beings, I mean animals. They move others from animals to us. Whereas government has in the recent years talked about merging different agencies, the pharmaceutical society says that creating a veterinary drug authority challenges this notion. Having two authorities adds a cost, but does not add an extra value in the whole regulatory process. So the cost for this new authority is not justified uh, by the expected returns in terms of uh, service uh, for the country. Other stakeholders say the issue now is the practice or how the medicine is used compared to quality and that is not what this authority is trying to address. The problem as reported uh, by various stakeholders is that medicines for animals are not being administered properly. They are not following a prescription from a professional who is the veterinary uh, practitioner. It was realized that the National Drug Authority was focusing more on the human medicines and little attention was being given to especially veterinary drugs and yet the sector of veterinary is a large sector the Pharmaceutical Society says government may consider creating a new food and plant health authority to strengthen the regulation of food and agriculture chemicals, which is weak. No but. At Kunda, NTV, tonight.